Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to this weekend's vlog. Today is Friday and it's been a rough week I have to say. It's very emotionally exhausting and I just want to take some time to like chill, do some things that I enjoy doing and just sort of treat myself this weekend. We're gonna do that. Beginning with right now I'm headed to the North End to find a nice place to hang out, have a snack and get some homework done. The texture of the filling takes some getting used to, but it's very good. Mm. I'm also very close to peeing my pants. I still kind of feel like sh to be honest. I know I'm gonna snap out of it at some point, but I'm just having like a really, really rough week. But it's Saturday morning and it's like 70 degrees. And I'm gonna head to Coolidge Corner, which is an area that I've wanted to visit for some time. And slightly more exciting news, this is my outfit. And I'm just gonna wear this over top because it's cool right now. Plans coming together, actually. I was looking and I managed to find a bookstore that I wanna go to. There's a yard sale close by. There's also a library that's doing like a book sale. I found a few parks, so I think it's gonna be an okay day. I'm also packing breakfast, so I'm packing a Greek yogurt, some granola, I drizzled some honey on top, and then I'm gonna cut up the fruit, put it in here. Then I also just toasted a cinnamon raisin bagel and I put some cream cheese on. I'm officially ready to go. I've got my really heavy backpack packed and we're off. I just went to the yard sales, so awesome. It was like a whole street of yard sales. I got some cool stuff and I'll do a haul. Also, there's a lemonade stand, so I bought lemonade, which like as lemonade goes at lemonade stands, not that bad. And then a chocolate chip cookie, which this is my breakfast. Pretty good. It was like the cutest little street. I think it was a lot of like young families, but I got a skirt, a little like keychain thing, and then lemonade, a cookie, and these bracelets for seven dollars, which I feel like is pretty good. Every time I drink lemonade, I feel like I'm going to throw up shortly after. It's very heavy on the stomach, you know? But the cookie, delicious. Coolidge Corner now and I'm headed to the book fair or book sale or whatever it is. I also just stopped and I grabbed my bagel so I can eat on the go. I feel like that like couple that packs and like dehydrates all their meals to walk the Appalachian Trail. Appalachian Trail. right now 
I'm really excited. I have a little like haul for you guys of the stuff that I got. I calculated and I think I spent $11.50 on all of this stuff combined. But from the yard sale, I got this really pretty skirt. But it just has these cool little sort of like ruffles. It was one of the only clothing pieces that they had. So obviously my eye was drawn to it. And then from another like seller or vendor at the yard sale i got these really cool little like bangles aren't those so fun this is like a mosaic kind of stained glass last but not least there was a branch of the boston public libraries that was having a book sale to raise money for something it was hardcover books for a dollar and paperbacks for 50 cents and they had like a couple boxes and tables outside which was exciting but they had so many books downstairs so for a whopping $4.50, I got all of these books. Eleanor Oliphant um, is completely fine. I've heard about this, have yet to read it. Visit from the Goon Squad. I don't know, it sounded interesting. I was very excited to find this book and honestly in really, really excellent condition. All the light we cannot see. And literally all of those paperbacks, 50 cents, so awesome. And then I found Funny Girl, which I'd never heard of. Also, this retailed for $28. And this is a dollar so i'm excited plus the cover next the girl in the blue coat um it's set in amsterdam in 1943 and it sounds really interesting and then where the crawdads sing 26 dollars retail if it was new i actually bought this book on ebay like a couple months ago used and paperback but i accidentally bought it in large print i loaned it out to one of my friend's moms actually and she's still reading it and i didn't really care because like I don't really need to have copies of the books, but I saw this and I was like, for a dollar, that seems pretty decent. So yeah, I got this as well. Seriously, what a successful little haul. It's all secondhand, as you guys know, I adore. Okay, here is the big dryer dilemma. So I put my clothes in like an hour ago. It's supposed to take an hour. I come back to check on it like 30 minutes in and the dryer door is open and so my first thought is sabotage why would someone open the dryer so my clothes aren't drying that's just spiteful so then i was obviously annoyed but i just put it back in closed it set a timer for 30 minutes came back when the timer went off and it's open again so second time around my thought is that it's actually the machine doing it which is really unfortunate because now my clothes aren't really drying but that's the machine that's free to dry your clothes so now i just have to wait because it was open so I had to close it again and have my clothes dry and they're all still slightly damp. The plan for tonight is I'm going out with my old roommates from last year who I adore and their friends. The plans did seem a bit tentative though. I'm under the impression that we're going out. Potentially we're not, I'm fine either way, but I just need to know what to wear. Also, I think I'm gonna make a more like in-depth video about this because I do think there's much more that I wanna say on the topic. I've kind of come to realize that I don't enjoy going out as much as i used to and kind of everything involved with going out if you get the gist i think it can be very fun and i also think it's kind of has the potential to be unhealthy in some situations and just not necessarily something that i find enjoyable i've kind of been grappling with the idea of accepting that just because these are stereotypical like fun things to do in college doesn't mean i have to enjoy them it doesn't mean i have to participate if i don't want to Here's the outfit we're going with. I actually made this top. I think it's really cool. It's just got the little like slits here and here. And I'm actually really proud of how it turned out. And I have these pants. These are actually Boy Scout of America pants. So they zip off at the knee, which is nice because when I'm dancing, it's gonna get kind of hot, so. All right, I'm officially ready to go out. So I'm leaving this camera. I'm gonna bring this camera. I might end up just taking pictures on it, but we'll see. Clearly, we did end up going out. There's some clips of us walking from Cambridge and then a clip from the party. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. Last night was decent. I'm still kind of figuring out what I enjoy doing in my free time and if that includes going out or not, you know? More on that to come. I'm not sure how it managed to get lost in the video, but I think I mentioned it like a thousand times. I was getting ready to go to the Red Sox Royals game at Fenway. That was at like 1.30. So like everything is leading up to that. It's 11.30 right now and 
I need to head out around like 12ish. I've been working on After Effects for the past like 30 minutes. That I've been watching my like professor's tutorial to 40 minute video. I'm literally only like 12 minutes in because it's the most frustrating program for me to learn how to use. Also, despite the fact that I keep saying I'm going to a Red Sox game, actually rooting for the Royals, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna wear because um, I'm pretty sure it's hot as f out. So I decided to save you guys three and a half minutes of your life by not forcing you to listen to my monologue about my Southwestern shaker salad that I got from my campus's to-go place, but the moral of the story was that it was delicious and it tasted like Chipotle, so. The game ended up being very fun. It was a beautiful day, and the first two innings were kind of close. Obviously, the Red Sox ran away with it later on, but overall, very fun experience. Currently editing this vlog. It's literally been such a boring night. I had a Zoom call with like, my extended family because we're planning a trip, which was really fun, and it was nice to see everyone. And then I finished my homework, and now I'm just editing and kind of hanging out. It's 8 o'clock right now. I'm probably going to go to bed within the next hour. I think it probably just makes sense to end the vlog here because I'm not doing anything else tonight. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon.